Next up will be the body. This shouldn't be as complicated as doing the valve gear, side rods, and mechanism, so hopefully it'll come together pretty quickly and we'll really start seeing more progress on this whole thing. The metal in this kit is solderable, but I'm really no good at that outside of doing wiring and maybe brass sheet. So instead I'll just be using epoxy and glue for the whole thing. So here's the assembled cab. So far it's just super glued together. I'll get the epoxy in there later to strengthen it. This wasn't too hard to assemble, just took some filing and fitting here and there. And the parts aren't all a perfect fit, but they're definitely good enough. Getting the boiler together isn't too bad, although there are a couple little things that are off a bit. Mainly the tabs that hold the boiler pieces to the walkway pieces. They didn't drill the holes in the walkways at the correct locations, but that is fortunately easy to correct. All you have to do is drill the correct holes, and everything fits together just fine. You don't even see the problem once it's all fully assembled. I made one little mistake while I was building this. I was supposed to drill it so that a long screw could go down through the smokestack and down into the cylinders, but I drilled the hole in the cylinders too large for a screw that would fit through the smokestack, so I ended up using this 632 screw from a computer build and um, it's a short screw so it's going to be permanently inside the boiler and to make sure it doesn't fall out somewhere while I'm working on it I glued this wire piece over it so that'll act as a screw retainer to keep it inside of there so it'll still work it's just a little less convenient all right the main structure of the boiler and the body is now fully assembled Got it held together with the epoxy, just a couple little spots of super glue here and there. And I think this turned out looking pretty good. It's not perfect since there are so many inaccuracies in all the castings, but I think it's still going to be a pretty nice looking steam engine when it's all finished. Well, the tender seems to be going together pretty easily so far compared to the rest of the kit. And the parts have quite a bit of flash around them and seams and stuff they have to be filed off but once they are filed the fit of the parts is actually very good I had to tap these screw holes and put the screws in myself I think that just helps to make it an even better fit than if they had done it themselves since they seem to be very inaccurate with their holes or at least they were when they were in business so now all these parts I just have to epoxy them in place and it should all fit together very nicely. The only difficulty I've had with the tender casting so far is the rear roof casting. It's got this little bracket here. It actually looks like it was originally a separate part and then they just decided to assemble it and remake the mold to fit it, which is weird. But anyway, this was actually interfering with assembling the front roof piece and getting everything lined up properly, so I just bent it down like that and everything actually fits together just the way it's supposed to now so I can epoxy all that in place and it should all fit together perfectly. Alright main body is now together epoxy is curing and it should be ready for more handling pretty soon. One thing about working with epoxy is that when you're doing a lot you have to work quickly because it sets pretty fast. This five minute stuff does anyway and once you've pressed the part in place, you have to just take a paper towel or something and wipe along the edge to take off any excess. The tender trucks aren't too difficult to put together, although they are a little bit tricky. They're kind of interesting in how they're assembled. Instead of using screws or something more typical, they use these little fork shapes around the sides and you crimp them around these tabs on the side frames. It actually holds it together pretty well, and it makes it so that electrical contact isn't prevented in any way. So it's actually a pretty decent system. The only issue I had assembling 
this first truck here is that these little holes for the axles aren't quite deep enough so I had to drill them a little bit deeper until the axles just fit in there and roll pretty freely. Trailing truck here is built pretty much the same as the tender trucks which with a bunch of crimps all around that you have to put together. Those did a pretty good job of holding it but it felt just a little bit loose so I tacked it together with some super glue and that should help. The holes for the axles are a little too deep though so I'm going to add some insulating washers between the insulated wheels and the frame to prevent any short circuits. The front truck was a little easier though, it's just the two halves and there are no crimps so it's glued together and the holes are just the right size for that axle so no need to do any extra insulation, should work just fine. Finally starting to look like something. All I need to do now is get the tinder hooked up and I can give this thing its first track test. Alright, tinder's assembled to the engine. I've got things cleaned up and oiled. Let's see how it does on its first actual track test. Alright, first time on the layout track. Let's see how it goes. Not perfect yet, but it's working. And the truck went off the track and shorted out, so I'll have to look into that. But, this thing's at least working, so that's very encouraging.